y'all i'm back with an update on my 2024 reading goals and i'm also going to go over some recent book mail so stay tuned to books with Kimberly and don't forget to like comment share my channel and subscribe if you tuned into my top 10 books of 2023 then at the end of the video I went over my reading goals for 2024 and some of them I've already started to accomplish so let's get right into it. one of my goals was to stay up to date with new releases from some of my favorite authors Y'all know I'd be late. I'd be like two, three, a, a year late when it comes to reading some of those new releases. So I want to stay up to date. And that is one goal I've already accomplished. So stay tuned in a few minutes. I'll let you know what book I recently purchased that was a new release. Another goal that I have for 2024 is to stay up to date with trendy books, books that are getting the people talking, just so that I can be a part of the conversation. And so I can know whether the hype about this book is real or not. I've accomplished this goal by getting into Frida McFadden. I recently read The Teacher. So check out my March part two reading wrap up so that you can get all of my thoughts on The Teacher by Frida McFadden. So I've already checked off that goal, but I will continue to read other trendy books. I am taking all of my 2024 reading goals very seriously. I'm still working on them. I'm constantly reading so I can reach my Goodreads goal of reading 55 books this year. But the biggest goal that I have already accomplished in the first quarter that I am super proud of is that I have gotten my family to start back reading. My mom, y'all, who is my inspiration for reading, who started me reading Dr. Seuss back when I was a kid, she has started back reading. She actually read Happy is on Hiatus by AC Author. This book was gifted to me by my sister. So shout out to my sister because she helped with getting my mom back reading. And then she dove straight into reading the Beverly Jenkins Blessing series. She has already finished it. And y'all, she has started listening to audiobooks. So my mom has accomplished a lot of reading goals herself. And I'm proud that I could be that inspiration to get her started. My nephew has started reading as well. And also my auntie, she went to the library with my mom and they picked up some books. And so she has been reading too. And y'all know I always shout out my auntie because she is the reason that I read all the Beverly Jenkins books that I read. She also got me into the Blessing series. So shout out to my aunt. And y'all, those are the goals that I have been working on for 2024. And I cannot wait to give y'all more updates. So let's get into some book mail. I first want to shout out my sister for purchasing Will Never Tell by Kayla Perrin. This is going to be the first novel I read by this author. This was a Christmas gift. I don't believe I have discussed it on this channel. If I have, I'm shouting out my sister again for always supporting my book channel and gifting me with books. So can't wait to get into this one. I think it is a mystery, but y'all know I am a blind reader. So I do not know what this book is about but I'm definitely excited to get into it. I also want to shout out my mother who gifted me this book of devotionals. This book is Strength for Your Soul, 366 Days of Joy in the Lord, and the author is Karen Moore. Y'all, these devotionals have really been getting me through, so shout out to my mom for gifting me with this beautiful devotional. It's really been helping me to just stay uplifted and motivated. So y'all, whoo, this book is beautiful. Y'all, I am so excited about this next book. This is a book that was gifted to me by my best friend, Craig. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and supporting my love for books. It's called Where Sleeping Girls Lie by Farida. I do not want to butcher her last name, but I have read books by this author before. This was one of my birthday book haul challenge books. I read Ace of Spades by this author. I thought it was pretty good. It had a mystery, suspenseful thing going, and it was very heavy-handed when it talked about the topics of racism. But I have seen some of the reviews of this book and they said that it is way better than Ace of Spades. So 
I am so excited to read this one. And again, thank you to my best friend. The last book, y'all, is the book that I was saying helped me accomplish one of my goals, which is getting into new releases by some of the authors I really enjoy. I actually pre-ordered this book, and that is Tender Beast by LaSalle Sanberry. I have really enjoyed her Blood Like Magic series. And last year, I gave her book Delicious Monsters five stars. This is another mystery. Look at this beautiful cover, y'all. I was so excited to get my hands on this book. It's actually a pre-order. And LaSalle actually did a campaign where she sent out some really cool book swags. I'm going to show you what she sent me. This is my first time actually opening up the package. So I got a bookmark that says Tender Beast. It's the cover photo. I got a postcard from Delicious Monsters and I love that it has a picture of the mansion where the main character lived in Delicious Monsters. I got some stickers for Bear Academy, which is the school where this story takes place in Tender Beast. And there's also a little patch that you put on like a jacket or something. So thank you, LaSalle, for having that campaign. Y'all, that is it for my book mail. Get down in the comments and let me know if you guys have purchased any new books, any new releases you are excited about, any goals you've accomplished. Let me know in those comments. And thank you again for tuning in to a Books with Kimberly video.